reason for having the three days of the workshop. It's just the beginning of training and building capacity in all traders, in the regulatory bodies, and all those who are involved in this trade. We have good days for bacteria like cholera, good days for, for picocoliforms, the salmonella, the number of bacteria that can cause this different kind of disease. So we have to make sure that we test that and make sure that the fish is okay. And when we talk of contamination because of the soil and other things in, in our water, we also look for issues like heavy metals. Look at uh, mercury, copper, lead, zinc, all those things we have to test to make sure that the fish is okay. As we are setting up you know, the Green Pass you know, certification scheme, the idea is that you know, the Green Pass itself uh, is you know, supported by exactly what has been explained here. Uh, to ensure that, you know, again, to give that assurance to markets that are beyond Loanga that the fish is safe. So we have these mini labs which then do the basic verification, I must emphasize, you know, behind the borders, what we call behind the borders, you know, so that then as the fish traverses along the different, you know, trade flows, it is actually more or less stamped as being safe and, uh, you know, uh, good to consume. So I just bought it, I made my expenditure, then I come here, my fish is discovered in a larger quantity that is damaged, is spoiled, is, is, is not allowed. So what benefit I'm going to have, me as a buyer? It's a very, very important question that I wanted to respond to in addition to what he has just said. This is how we envisage the program to work. We have um, a trade facilitation program that is looking at improving border management and improving compliance of the traders. So we have two approaches. We'll be working with the processors and the traders to build compliance in their fish operations, to improve the way they handle the fish, the way they process the fish, and the way they mitigate the risks from cholera, from pesticides, from whatever. Now, we want VIP treatment for them at the borders. That's why we want to invest in compliance. At the borders, we don't want this, we don't want testing at the borders. We don't think it's sufficient. Because you cannot test hundred percent all the consignment. We want the green pass to be anchored on full compliance. The regulatory authorities across borders, the lab in Mozambique, ZABS, will be working together to monitor. We call it monitoring. They monitor the value chain. This facility will promote improvement in the quality and standards of the fish products that is being traded between Zambia and other Comesa and SADC member states. The incomes of those involved in fishing, processing and trading of fish is definitely likely to be enhanced. I wish to assure you that the Zambian government, through my ministry, will continue to provide the necessary policy guidance to the fishery sector in general and the cross-border fish trade in particular in to ensure that we enhance the role of fish life in livelihoods, food, and nutrition security of our peoples in the Comesa and Sadak regions. Distinguished delegates, as you may be aware, unpredictable sanitary and phytosanitary standard inspections or verification checks could contribute to high trading costs, which may force small-scale traders into informal routes. I am reliably informed that COMESA is supporting member states to improve the efficiency of sanitary and phytosanitary standards border verification procedures with the aim of reducing the costs incurred by small-scale cross-border traders. One of the planned activities is the launch of the Comesa Fish Inspection and Certification Facility and the piloting of the Green Pass Certification Scheme at the Luangwa border.
I'm aware that the cost incurred by the cross-border traders has been subject of discussion. I know that you people, the Cross-Border Trade Association, you have, first of all, it's very important to recognize you as a very powerful economic operators, and you have accepted this invitation, first of all, to see what is happening and what sort of training that is needed, and we will keep doing that. And we know that we are very much aware that the cost of doing business has, to some extent, been beyond your means. And maybe that's one of the reasons why you are not able to trade the way we wanted you to trade. But rest assured, we are going to look into it. And we want to make sure that this Green Pulse initiative will definitely help you. But as we grow together, you need to continuously keep us informed how this is working. Because any instrument that we put in place, we have to make sure that that instrument works. And the only way we can make sure, because you are the person that are using that instrument, you have to tell us whether the instrument is not working. And it could be a simple just meeting of two people, meeting of three people, we can resolve them. The warehouse that we are going to launch today is one of the key solutions that have been put in place to address the challenges that have been highlighted by the Cross-Border Fish Traders Association. The guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, the warehouse and certification center you are going to launch today is also a symbol of the importance of fish trade. Trade is paramount in fisheries management because of a number of reasons. The first reason is that uh, the fishers who are catching fish they do so because they are motivated to catch the fish and the traders who are selling the fish, they are also motivated to trade the fish because fish has a monetary value. If fish did not have a monetary value, I'm sure nobody of you here were going to bother to process and sell it. The second reason is that through fish prices, the traders, the fishers and those who process fish are able to get the signals of where fish is needed and how much is needed. And that's the reason why you see trucks coming here. They don't just collect fish. They collect fish after they have studied the price signals and they know where to take the fish because they know it's going to be bought or sold. The third and most important reason is that uh, trade creates the mechanism for transferring fish from regions or countries of surplus to areas of deficit, and hence providing food and nutrition <coughs> security, but also uplifting the lives of many fish-dependent communities and contribute towards rural transformation. <coughs>